Okay, let's keep the focus on Japan now as we bring you Lex on Bloomberg. We're partnering with the Financial Times to bring you a behind-the-scenes look at one of the business world's most read columns. Today, we're looking at the Japanese banking sector, and we're joined by the FT's Ben McClanahan. He joins us from Hong Kong. With Mark, good morning to you, Ben. So uh, tell us about the column today, Hi then. There. Zombie banks. That's right. So I've written about uh, Shinsei and Aozora, two uh, zombie banks that were rescued by the Japanese government uh, towards the end of uh, the, the 1990s. And given new names, uh, repackaged, uh, Shinsei, is, it, its translation is new life, and Aozora means blue sky, so all sounded terrific. And it was also given, uh, both banks were given a, a dose of um, the restorative serum of private equity capital, uh, which at the time was viewed as a very good thing. And for the first few years, the, these banks outperformed. They, they did very well. Uh, the IPO of Shinsei in particular was a blowout success. But in recent years, uh, over the past three years, um, if you look at Japan's uh, 92 listed banks and rank them all by three-year returns on assets, uh, Shinsei is six off the bottom and Alzora is one off the bottom. Uh, simply that they'd made too many disastrous investments. I look at Alzora in particular, uh, had a full house of exposures to, to Lehman, to, to Madoff, uh, to GMAC and all the rest. And these banks were due to merge, but there are reports that they will abandon those plans. Tell us about that. Yeah, th those are reports. They're still not confirmed. Uh, there's, there's nothing from either bank, just to say that uh, there's no decision being made. But um, reading between the lines, um, there has been tension uh, in, the, in the two, two banks' public pronouncements. Um, if you look at the share prices of both, it was supposed to be a one-to-one -one merger, so a merger of equals in the classic Japanese tradition. And the two share prices had converged and were within about one yen of each other at the end of January. But then came the third quarter uh, financial reports and uh, Alzora seemed to be going well. It upgraded its full year earning forecasts and uh, seemed to be pretty confident. But Shinsei, on the other hand, uh, deferred guidance for the full year and uh, alerted investors' attention to all these uh, hidden exposures in property and consumer finance. So there was definitely a, a divergence of interest from that point. So, Ben, these banks were bailed out by the uh, Japanese government more than 10 years ago. So is there a possible warning here for, say, uh, UK banks? Uh, the uh, taxpayers here have bailed out RBS and Lloyds. Is there, a, is there a similar chance that these guys could still be not, uh, not doing very well 10 years from now? Well, there certainly is. Um, Japan is, is a very good example, as you say. Uh, both were bailed out. The government's entry point into Shinsei was 745 yen, and that is, is its uh, exit target price. But um, yesterday, Shinsei closed at 97, so it's looking at, it needs to make an eightfold return from this point just to make its money back. And taxpayers, of course, will be wanting that. Okay. And it also raises questions about private equity ownership in banks, which uh, is questionable. Thanks, Ben. Ben McClanahan there for us from Hong Kong. Thank you very much.